Hi everyone, this is Super Galactic and I'd like to welcome y'all to my YouTube channel. And what I want to talk about is a video that I seen on News Nation. And they was basically talking about how some people in Congress was stonewalling this bill to where it wouldn't have much of an impact than what people like Chuck Schumer wanted. And this is actually a bill that I actually support with Chuck Schumer because we need to have UFO transparency. We need to know what we're dealing with. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that UFOs are a threat. Because I'm like Stephen Greer and Tim Burchett. If they was a threat, I don't think I would be having this conversation on this video. I think when we detonated the atomic bomb, I think if the ETs were a threat, like I said, I wouldn't be making this video because I wouldn't even be around. None of us wouldn't be around. So as far as ETs being a threat, I really don't think they are, but the thing that I'm wanting is the is UFO transparency to the point to where we end up having access to technology that would benefit humanity. It ain't just the United States, the American people. It's humanity in a whole. I believe that if we had more transparency with these UFOs and the UFO technology, we would have access to technology that would definitely benefit us. And there are people, there are corporations out there that don't want that to happen because what you got to understand, and Stephen Greer has been vocal about this, there are corporations out there that are in it for the money. They're in it to make a profit. When people like Tim Burchett says a lot of these people are war pimps, trust me, Tim Burchett is telling the truth. And it ain't just Tim Burchett that has said this. Stephen Greer has said that the military industrial complex are nothing but war pimps. That's all they think about. Who is the next country they can go to war with? Because they know if they pick out another country to go to war with, that'll cause them to make more money. And that's the thing. It's the pharmaceuticals. The pharmaceuticals ain't in, in it to make people better. They're in it to make a profit. There ain't, there's no way they would come up with some kind of medicine and whoop, you're all cured. They don't want to do that. That's the last thing they would want to do. All they think about is money, 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 money. That's all they think about. But see, if we had more UFO transparency, people in America would have access to better heat and air. We would basically have free energy. And there's people, there's corporations out there that don't want us to have free energy. There's a lot of people in America, not just across the world, but there's a lot of people in America that don't have heat, that don't have air. Right now, it's wintertime where I'm at. And there's no telling how many people are in their home right now as I'm making this video. There's no telling how many people have no heat. They go to bed freezing. And that shouldn't happen here in America. That's unacceptable. But since there's so many corporations in it for money, they don't care if somebody's going to bed freezing. They don't care when it gets summertime that people's going to bed scorching hot to death. 
about to dehydrate because they can't get no air, can't get no clean water. There's people in other country, Sudan, places like that. They have no access to, to clean water. Have no access to clean water whatsoever. And that kind of stuff is unacceptable. To me, if something like that was going on, look like that would go against international law. Something that would put a human being, a sentient being, health at risk. That's just genocide. That's all that is. When you know somebody is drinking dirty and polluted water and it's causing them to die because of malnutrition, uh, it's just basically messing their organs up because of polluted, contaminated water. Messing their organs up. Causing their body to shut down because of all that toxic in their body. That's genocide. When you know that's going on and you just don't care because you're in it for the money, that's genocide. And Congress needs to get tough. We need to find out the reason why they're stonewalling UFO transparency. Why are they stonewalling? What are they hiding? These people need to be investigated. There needs to be an investigation on this. I'm serious. People are stonewalling this for a reason. And the American people know something's up. The American people are not stupid. They know something's up. They know it. And we elect our congressmen to step up to the plate and to be tough on situations like this and find out what the heck is going on. And if they can't be tough, well, we need to get somebody in there that will be tough, that will call this nonsense out and do something about it. And I know somebody's got to know something. Somebody's got to know something. And I believe the people that do know something are the ones that are actually stonewalling it. I believe people are taking bribes. That's what I think. I think there's people in Congress taking bribes and being threatened. They're telling some people in Congress to block this bill or else they won't get any money. They will promise something. It's got to be that. Why else would they be trying to block it? I believe they were bribed. I believe they were promised something. I believe they promised them a lot of money if they blocked this UFO bill. I believe they will promise a lot of money. So the people in Congress are basically taking bribes. And if that can be proven, they can be impeached for that. Because nobody in Congress, not even the President of the United States, should be taking bribes for any, from any corporation. I don't care what it is. You do not take bribes that go against the American people. That's an impeachable offense. That's the reason why I'm saying there needs to be an investigation going on with these corporations. We need to find out what corporations are getting involved in our government affairs because they got no business doing that. They're not a part of a government branch. They're just a business corporation. That's all they are. They got no business getting involved in our government affairs. That's the reason why people are so against people like Joel Soles. 
Joel Souls don't work in government. He's just a business corporation person. He's got no business being involved in our government affairs. People like Bill Gates, he's the exact same thing. He's got no business being involved in health affairs. He's just a businessman. You don't see Elon Musk trying to get involved in government affairs and and uh, medical stuff. He stays out of that. He's running a business, and that's what he intends to do, is run his business the best way he knows how and the best way he sees fit. He's going to do the right thing and stick to what he knows. He ain't going to get involved in our political affairs and stuff like that. Now, when he stands for free speech, that's different. That's just him allowing his platform like X to be a free speech platform. That's got nothing to do with him being involved in our political affairs. That's the reason why I don't understand why he went to uh, Israel because it sounded like Israel is trying to control his platform. Elon Musk is the owner of his platform, and he shouldn't let people try to dictate on how he tries to run it. That's the only mistake I say that Elon Musk really made on a situation like that because that's his platform. If he wants it to be a free speech platform, there's nothing that Yahoo or any of his people can do about it. If they don't like it, get off the platform and find something else that's more suitable to you. Because there's nobody making you stay on X. Nobody. If you don't like it, you've got plenty of opportunity to leave. And it's like he told these investors, if you don't want to invest, don't feel so obligated to where you think you have to because Elon ain't making them stay. Elon ain't putting pressure on them to keep investing on his platform. If they don't want to invest, don't invest. Don't invest. He's not twisting their finger or, or arm to get them to invest. They don't want to invest. Don't invest. But what I'm saying is any business organization out there has no business getting involved in political and medical affairs. Stick to what you know. If you're a business person, stick to your business skills. Don't try to jump off on another political arena or, or medical stuff. Stick to what you know. But we need, we need to find out why they're stonewalling this UFO bill. There's people getting involved in our political affairs that shouldn't be getting involved. And if they are, they need to be investigated. And that's what I wanted to talk about. There really needs to be people looking into this. Because I really believe people's getting involved in our political, affair, political affairs. And they have no business doing that. And they need to be investigated. And if Congress is taking bribes, because of, of this, they need to be impeached because this should not be going on. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below and please hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I make another video. And y'all please subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a good one.